What if the real key to happiness isn't money, fame or success, but simply the people around you? Science now has a clear answer. Strong, healthy relationships are the number one factor in a happy life. Let's explore why human connection matters so much, how modern life can get in the way and what we can do to bring more love and friendship into our lives. One of the most famous studies on happiness started in 1938. It's called the Harvard Study of Adult Development. For more than 80 years, researchers followed hundreds of people to find out what truly makes life joyful and meaningful. The answer? Good relationships. People who had close, supportive connections in their 50s were the healthiest and happiest in their 80s, not the richest and not the most successful. In fact, being socially connected helps you live longer, feel less stressed, and even avoid diseases. The lead researcher, Dr. Robert Waldinger, said it clearly. People who are more socially connected are happier, physically healthier, and live longer than people who are less connected. It turns out that our brains are wired for connection. When we bond with someone, our body releases a chemical called oxytocin, often called the love hormone. Oxytocin helps us feel calm, trust others, and feel safe. It gets released when we hug, laugh, share stories, or even just sit with someone we care about. Strong relationships also protect us from stress. Having a friend or loved one to talk to during hard times lowers your anxiety, boosts your immune system, and makes you feel like you're not alone. In other words, relationships are not just emotionally helpful, they're biologically essential. Unfortunately, in today's world, many people feel lonely. In fact, studies show that more than one in three adults feel serious loneliness. We live in cities with neighbors we don't talk to, we work long hours, we spend more time on phones than in real conversation, and even though social media lets us connect with more people, it often leaves us feeling more isolated. Too much time on social media has been linked to higher levels of anxiety, depression and loneliness. Loneliness isn't just sad, it's dangerous. Research shows that chronic loneliness is as bad for your health as smoking or heavy drinking. But not everywhere is like this. Some places around the world, known as blue zones, have people who live longer and happier lives. These include Okinawa in Japan, Sardinia in Italy, and Nicoya in Costa Rica. What's their secret? Strong social ties. In Okinawa, people join lifelong support groups called MOAI, in Sardinia, families live close together and eat meals with friends daily. In Costa Rica, neighbors help each other and stay closely connected. These people don't just live longer, they feel better every day. The good news? You don't have to move to a blue zone. You can create deeper connections right where you are. Here are a few simple science-backed steps. Listen with care, put away distractions and give people your full attention. Listening deeply builds trust and makes others feel valued. Spend time in person. Make time for coffee, walks, or dinner with friends or family. Real life moments matter more than texts. Limit phone time. Try keeping phones away during meals or conversations. Even a few minutes of undivided attention goes a long way. Share hugs and kind touch. Physical affection, when welcome, helps release oxytocin and strengthens bonds. Take digital breaks. Give yourself time away from screens to be present with people. Join a group or give back. Volunteering or joining clubs and communities helps you meet new people and feel more connected. The science is clear. At the end of the day, it's not money, status or things that bring the most joy. It's our relationships. Invest in the people you love. Be present, be kind, and don't be afraid to reach out and build new connections. Because in the story of your life, love and connection are the real treasures. Coming up next, Episode 7, The Healing Power of Silence and Mindfulness, Why We Need to Slow Down to Be Happy. We'll explore how practicing mindfulness and embracing silence can reduce stress and increase happiness. We'll look at how the brain's default mode network, DMN, responds to stillness, the science behind meditation and the benefits of quiet moments. You'll hear real-life examples from monks and mindfulness practitioners who live with greater calm and clarity. And we'll share simple, practical steps to start your own journey, like meditation techniques, daily moments of silent reflection, and how to be more present in everyday life. Subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss it.